Hey guys, welcome back to Clash with Corey. Thanks for coming to hang out with me for another Clash of Clans video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the top three hog attacks at Town Hall 10. Nerf this! If any of you guys are new to my channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell because I'm making new Clash Clans videos for you every single day. Guys, our first example is going to be our most common hog attack by far. That's going to be the Kill Squad Hogs. I'm going to press play on this and we'll talk about it while it's going down. So basically with the Kill Squad Hogs or any hog attack, you want to get both heroes, but especially the Queen. You have to get the Queen um, and you, you have to get the enemy CC taken care of as well. Now you don't have to get the king but it's a good idea i don't even think about doing a hog attack if i don't think i can kill the king as well now supreme agent's coming in from a side right over here with his wall wrecker it's going to take him into the core of this base where he should be able to have access to the queen and to the king because you see the king's range reaches over into the core there now unfortunately his queen instead of stepping inside the base is going to walk around and that's going to cause him to miss the king um, he's got his first poison down on the enemy cc right there and you'll notice in his composition he's got a rage that's for the kill squad going in you know the the king and whatever comes out of that wall wrecker uh, if you have valkyries or pekkas or something like that you don't need the heal but he brought bowlers if you're going to bring bowlers you want to bring a heal and a rage otherwise the bowlers just die too fast so he's going to heal rage's core but since his queen didn't go in he's not going to get that king killed and uh the other thing you're looking for on these hog attacks is to create some sort of pathing for your hogs mind you the more hogs you have the less pathing you need but the less hogs you have you know the tighter the skinnier this little path right here needs to be moving through the base that way you can concentrate your heal spells concentrate your hogs you keep them moving through the base with a lot of momentum um, guys, this one is super close, super close. I was actually watching it live while I was uh, trying to think of what to do for a video, and I did. I thought it was gonna fail. I really did. Cause he didn't get the king. It seemed like he didn't have that many hogs left. Yeah, I, I definitely thought it was gonna fail, but he manages to pull it out. Um, that second poison that we we're talking about, you always want to bring a second poison on a hog attack. That way, you can poison the skellies that come out. Now, if the base has already been ground scouted and it doesn't have any ground skellies, then you could bring a different uh, second spell. Uh, you know, maybe a freeze or a skelly or something, you know, uh, just something you could use somewhere. Usually going to be a freeze. Find a good spot to freeze several high-value defenses like an expo and a wizard tower. Um, but there you go. His queen's actually going to come around, not quite finish off the king. The king is actually going to survive this raid. And instead of chasing these goblins and hogs, he decides his job is done. Uh, he's had enough. And he, he's just going to go hide inside the base while the cleanup finishes this off. Uh, but there we go, guys. Kill squad hog attacks. By far the most common that you're going to see. And so that's why they're number one on our top three of hog attacks. Let's go check out number two right now. Now, the methods change on these attacks, but the objectives do not, all right? That's what I want you guys to notice. The objectives do not change, and you're going to see that on these other attacks as well. Once again, the have-tos, the queen and the enemy CC. Um, the, the really, really nice twos are going to be the barbarian king and pathing. Now, here we go. Queen charge hogs is going to be our second most popular on our top three hog attack at town hall 10 and if done right this can really wreck bases um and aaron's gonna do it right right here so he's got his queen starting on this side utilizing this dead space right here for to have a high degree of certainty that his queen's gonna walk to the right not try to walk around to the left anytime you're doing a queen charge or starting at it oh my gosh he got barely got that rage down in time. Holy moly. I would have been too scared. I would have popped my I would have wasted my ability right there, I bet you. <laughs> but anyways, he doesn't. Gets that rage down just in time to bring his queen back and the stone slammers coming in, opening up these walls, doing some great work. Queen uh, has used one rage so far, okay? Stone Slammer's doing great work over there, you guys. There's no air defenses over there, so it's already gotten down like three defenses, and it's about to grab two more. Massive value from that Stone Slammer before the CC even pops out. Now, we've still got a Valkyrie in the CC that needs to be killed, and the Queen's getting closer to these heroes. Um, 
so he's going to go ahead and start his hogs on this side away from the heroes because he, he knows that his queen's going to go over here and get those heroes taken care of by the time the hogs get down in there. But on these attacks, these queen charge attacks, you want to start your hogs or your Lalo if it's queen charge Lalo no later than a minute 30 into the attack. But guys, notice his queen got the CC. She she created some great pathing. She's in there grabbing the heroes right now or at least the queen. And uh, is she going to get the king too? Oh my gosh. There's a battle up there. Yeah, her archers distracted the king long enough. She was able to kill him as well. So now the hogs are home free. He's used two of his three heals at this point. Standard composition with this attack is going to be two rages, three heals. And once again, his second spell is the poison. All right, always want to bring that poison for the skellies unless you know for a fact there is no ground skellies on the base. Um, so there we go, guys. This one's wrecked. He's got like 20 hogs left up plenty of cleanup um also a note on cleanup if you wait until the hogs are done with the defenses to deploy your cleanup you're gonna time fail pretty much every time almost every time so get into the habit when you're practicing on every single attack you do after your first you know couple hog drops um you want to get at least a couple cleanup troops down right away right behind those hogs or behind those loons if you happen to be doing a lalo attack that way they're cleaning up while the defenses are still going down and you're not going to have an issue with time fails all right now this one, number three, next on our list here is is far less common than the first two, uh, but it's really cool to watch. This one's got 40 hogs in it, you guys. We're gonna go down to base number 31, uh, an attack that Muffin did, and guys, I love seeing this. Anytime you can squeeze 40 hogs into an army, it's bound to be some fun. Now this one, he's gonna stoop Sui, this stone slammer in there. He's in there, he's got Valkyries. He's gonna use this rage to rage up the Valkyries. He's trying to kill um, on this case, he's going to kill the queen and get some other value in here uh, with those Valkyries. And the reason he's killing the queen right there and not the king is he's going to sue his heroes over here and make sure to kill this king as well in just a minute. So the poison's down on the baby dragon. I'm not sure that's going to kill it all the way, but he's still got his heroes that he's going to sue over here. Um, and they're going to come down. They're going to take care of this baby dragon, take care of this king, take care of pretty much all these defenses in here except for the air defense, leaving not too bad of a path left over for these hogs actually it gets a little wide here it does but once again the more hogs you have the less pathing you need uh when you've got 40 freaking hogs guys uh you can get a lot done 40 hogs four heels can take out a lot of base he doesn't even bother to start from one end of the path like you normally would he just drops kind of like an asian wall in there and double heels on the way in and those 40 hogs are working their way through getting it taken care of yeah, there we go. Popped his queen ability. Grab an extra defense over there. And guys, this base is looking wrecked. Um, you know, he'd have to hit, you know, probably a triple giant bomb at this point to stop the raid because there's just so many hogs left on the board. Does end up running into a few ground skellies, but it's at the end of the pathing there. So, you know, they don't have time to do that much damage. They're not chasing the hogs around the whole base. Hogs turn around finally and kill those skellies. Um, but there we go, guys. That base is wrecked. And uh, let me know in the comments below. Do you enjoy seeing attacks with 40 hogs as much as I do? Because I really enjoy it. Uh, let's fast forward through the rest of this. I've got one more example of this suicide blimp. Sui Heroes, Mass Hog. I don't know. It's just a Mass Hog attack, you guys. Um, definitely not a kill squad because you're not sending those heroes in with it. But uh, you're Sui in the blimp. You're Sui in the heroes. And you're just throwing a ton of hogs at the base. Here we go. Goku pulled off one of these as well. But he's only got 38 hogs. So his attack's almost as cool as Muffin's, but not quite. Let's be honest. Wow. A little over two minutes on this attack that's pretty good for a hog attack very very nice now on this one he's got heroes really close together so he's gonna be able to kill both of those heroes with the valkyries raged up coming out of that stone slammer once again guys we got an area with no air defenses over here so that stone slammer solos three four defenses before it even before it even pops and drops those valkyries out so we got a big dragon and an ice golem in the CC, both of which need to be killed uh, for those hogs to be effective. So he's gonna have to, he's gonna have to get his heroes down at some point to draw this ice golem out of the base. 
there we go heroes come down to start drawing that ice golem over uh he delays drop him a little bit though that way he can take out the dragon first i don't know if that was intentional or not but ended up being really smart that way they weren't frozen by the ice golem while the dragon was hammering down on him and he just goes in and starts his hogs right away he's actually created some, you know okay pathing yeah it gets really wide right here but once again he's got a ton of hogs and you can make up for crap pathing with more hogs um, and Cuckoo's gonna do exactly that. Heroes are gonna wrap around here, grab a few more defenses, a couple wizard towers. Won't be able to reach this bomb tower though, um, but that's okay. Four heals, 38 hogs, gonna get it done anyways. Now on this one, you see some skelly spells, uh, some skeleton traps pop up early. So he's gonna be using his second poison in this composition to get rid of those skellies. But you wanna do that a little bit later in the attack when they come to one set area, like right here would be a good spot. There we go. And now you see all those hogs were in one group, pulling those skellies into one group so that poison could kill every single one of those skellies. Guys, this base is wrecked. He still hasn't had to pop his queen ability and I don't, I don't think he's gonna have to. Um, yeah, super duper wreck. So there you guys go. Uh, kill squad hogs, by far the most common. Queen charge hogs, much funner actually, um, but not quite as common as the kill squad hogs. And then the least common, but maybe maybe funner yet, I don't know, uh, is going to be that suicide hero mass hog attack. So with that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the attacks. Um, I know I enjoyed them. Uh, I don't hog enough anymore. Maybe I'll cook up an army and start pra practicing with them again. It does not seem like I get a chance to use them very often anymore. But with that, guys, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Uh, ring that notification bell and check out the details below my videos. In there, I got links to all my social media, including my Discord server, which is by far the best place to get a hold of me. Also, more importantly, WHF Family Recruiting Discord server. That link is also in the description below all my videos. In case you're looking for it, that's where it's at. So with that, guys, I'll see you in the next video.